Madison with Electrophone. We are out here today at NAFA 2024 checking out Canoe's EV service vehicle. So this vehicle comes with 217 miles per charge, 350 horsepower, as well as eight airbags for a two-seater. Now this vehicle is really unique in that it has uh, drive-by wire. One of the only other things on the market right now that has that would be Tesla, but of course this is different being that it is a service vehicle. The only thing that sets this apart is the fact that it has a street view window right here so that you can watch out for animals or children that could be in the road. It's just another uh, great unique safety feature. Let's check out the back. Now, of course, this is outfitted with Sortimo and has uh, a lot of storage, but it is actually a pretty compact service vehicle. It's about four inches shorter than your standard Prius, so it gets around the city pretty easily. Now, this is actually all American made. 93% of the uh, products in this are made here in America. It's based in Oklahoma. All right. Now, as far as height goes, it's not too bad considering it has good space, lots of different storage opportunities here, and this is outfitted with storage mode. Now, as I said before, this window right here gives you a perfect view of what's coming up in the street, unlike any other vehicle on the market. So I have to say, pretty impressed with Canoe. Hi, I'm Addison with Electrophon and I'm here at NAFA 2024 with Ken from Canoe. Can you tell me a little bit about what y'all have here sure, today? Sure, sure. What you're looking at right now is a canoe. That doesn't mean it has a wooden oar, it's an electric vehicle. It has a range of 217 miles. So if you started here in San Antonio, you can drive to Houston on a single charge. Oh, nice. Rear wheel drive, um, eight airbags are in the driver's area. It's engineered with drive and brake by wire, so everything's inside the vehicle. We can put the steering wheel on the right side or the left side. For the U.S. Postal Service, the steering wheel is here. It's for them to use it as a delivery vehicle for the Postal Service. This configuration is set up as a service vehicle, more than a Walmart delivery vehicle. So normally you'd have boxes like this going in there, or boxes like this going in there. Instead, we have this one configured as a service vehicle. Mm -hmm. So some of the application of the service is being able to serve. So when I'm not working, Perfect. I'm working in, in here. Office. So it's an office, a portable office and a service unit. So every one of these is locked in. Sotomo is the upfitter that has done this for us. Uh, you have your drawers and workstation here, plenty of headroom, you're sitting oh, on your battery pack, so oh, wonderful. you have a huge drawer openings, different sizes for different usage. And um, yeah, you're sitting on your power unit. We have two uh, 120, 15 amp plugs in the back, so you can plug in equipment either for charging or doing industrial work that might need to be done. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's highly safe, very, uh, informative for the over-the-air product uh, uh, production of information and um, yeah that's Lastly, about it. Uh, do you by chance have any advice for young professionals that are looking into getting into EV solutions? Um, I would if if I were starting back into the industry especially in the EV area I would try to make sure I understood all aspects of it. How does the batteries work in an EV? How's the charging work in those batteries? So it's not just a vehicle, because any, uh, any vehicle could drive. It's what's powering that vehicle, and then what's how does the performance get better or worse with the newer technology? So that'd be my advice, is learn both sides of it. Not just how the vehicle drives, but also what powers it, and then how is it powered? Okay, now okay. within the next couple of years, as EV develops, mm -hmm. how do you think that's going to affect your company? Well, it's only gonna, it's gonna make us even more important. The range of 200 miles is perfect for uh, delivery systems. Um, we're gonna be coming out with larger vehicles as well and people movers. So this is designed also to be a seven passenger vehicle in the middle. So we can see a lot of usages for hospitalization, people in a lot of the campuses moving people around. 
um, it's, it's going to be interesting. And then we have a longer version of this as well. So this one can hold 133 uh, square feet. The bigger one that we call the LDV 190 can take 174 square feet of space. And it's bigger and it also has a 200 mile range. Wonderful. Now, lastly, what are you most excited to see here at NAFA today? Well, this whole week has been interesting to see all the different solutions that are out there. I love seeing more and more of these power companies, the EV powering coming online, because without that, we don't have this, right? You have a gas station, you can put anything in there, just fill it up, but you need power to charge this up. So I've been really excited to see so many of the newer uh, power companies coming online. And Sortimo and the Upfitters do a great job taking, whether it's our vehicle or a standard vehicle, and being able to make it purpose ready for a use case, whether I'm a service person or if I'm doing uh, heavy lift stuff on the other sides.